Enid, the wheat capital of Oklahoma. But in this wheat field on the east side of town, some envision a new field of dreams for Enid residents, a place that would help attract new opportunities for economic growth, and a place where current citizens want to stay and new citizens would want to call it home. Enid has an historic yet vibrant downtown. Its activity is a result of a concentrated effort to rebrand itself. Formerly vacant storefronts are now teeming with dining, entertainment, and retail options. Glenn McDaniel is the manager of Wheat Capital Running Company. He fell in love with running in Colorado, but wanted to move back home. He wants his two daughters to be drawn to stay here. I was very excited, especially when you see the master plan that takes you all over the city and even points that take you outside into the county a little bit. Uh, and if they can make that happen, it would be wonderful for, for every runner in Enid, every walker, every cyclist in Enid, because it gives you a way safely out to bigger avenues and, and bigger trails. The west side is busy too with high traffic retail. Everywhere you look, Enid is a community on the move. City leaders are looking to harness the momentum with new projects they say could foster future economic development and job growth. Our biggest economic development issue in Enid today is the attraction of workers. We've been very successful in this area of bringing new jobs to the area. It's time for us to bring in new workers, new citizens to fill these jobs. And one of the most important parts of that is quality of life, having places, green spaces, where uh, families can, uh, uh, can enjoy one another's company. The Quality of Life Bond and Sales Tax Initiative will generate $50 million of funding. The monies will be used to revitalize more than 20 of Enid City Parks and construct four brand new parks. If passed, the parks would be ADA accessible for people with limited mobility. Plans include trails that would connect the parks throughout the city of Enid. A BMX park would also be added, and the peeling paint of the current playground equipment would be replaced with new, safer, more colorful equipment. The plan also includes the creation of a community park where this wheat field now stands. With easy access from the highway, city leaders say it would be an active gathering place with its softball fields, walking tracks, aquatic center, skate park, football and soccer fields, a community center, and lots of places for kids to play. Antiquated restrooms would get a much needed update as well. I think it would just be wonderful. I, you know, I think it'd be great for our town, our community. Along with being able to, you know, progress myself as far as the being the school here and job opportunities, there would also be somewhere where I could take Kinley to like make memories, remember going to the nice park and being able to play with her friends. It is very exciting. I would love to continue the momentum and improve our parks. They are a reflection of our city. When people come to our town, they see the parks, whether they stop and play or not, and they are going to remember what they look like and they're going to associate that with what they think about Enid. Look at each one of the individual projects uh, independently. Look at the softball fields, look at the, uh, the tennis courts, uh, look at the green spaces, and ask yourself, are these, are these items that, uh, that make us a big time community? It's time for us to step out, uh, make, uh, make another investment in our community, and, and make our, our city a better place to live. Both the bond issue and half-cent sales tax increase will be voted on March 5, 2013. For more information, go to enid.org.